Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever been to the park and played on a seesaw? Now just think for a second. If you got up on one side and your mom or dad got on the other side, what would happen? You'd go flying up into the sky. But what about if you and another kid your own age played on the seesaw? Would you fly up into the air again, or would the seesaw be balanced? It would probably be balanced. Balance, that's when two sides are the same. Today, we're going to use a balance scale. And a balance scale is sort of like a mighty seesaw, only it's used to balance toys and objects, not people. Now this is the left side, and this is the right side. If we put one baseball on the left and one baseball on the right, both sides will be next to each other. Because one and one are the same number. We can say that they're equal. We can use an equal sign to show that one side is the exact same amount as the other. One equals one. If you put something heavy on one side and something light on the other side, well, the side with the heavier object will go down because the two sides are not balanced. So let's put one baseball on the left side and three baseballs on the right side. And now the right side will go down. These numbers are not the same. And so we cannot use the equal sign because one and three are not equal. And so we should cross out the equal sign. Now let's try it with some other numbers. Let's put five on the left side and four on the right. Now these numbers are not the same, so we cannot use the equal sign. They're not equal. But let's add one more baseball to the right side. And now we have four plus one. And now the scales are balanced again. And this means that five and four plus one are the same. We can say that they are equal and we can put an equal sign between them. Five equals four plus one. Now we can check this by counting the baseballs on the right side. We have one, two, three, four, five. There are five baseballs on each side of the scale. And so now we're sure that both sides are equal. Good job. That was kind of fun. You want to try again? Can we find another way we can make both sides equal? Let's try it again, but this time, let's look for another way we can make both sides equal. Instead of adding one, why don't we try to take a baseball away? If we start with the same setup, five baseballs on the left and four on the right, we can take one baseball away from the left side. Five minus one. And wow, the scales are next to each other again. And that means that 5 minus 1 and 4 are the same. We can say that they are equal and put an equal sign between them. 5 minus 1 equals 4. There are 4 baseballs on each side of the scale, so both sides are definitely equal. Way to go! Now let's make this even more interesting. Let's take away the scale, but keep the equal sign. This is the left side of the equal sign, and this is the right. Now, just like when we used a scale, both sides must be the same. If, for example, 7 equals 7, or 7 baseballs is the same as 7 baseballs. Ooh, have a look at this. It says that 7 equals 4 plus 4. Hmm, is that correct? Well, let's think about it. What's 4 plus 4? 4 plus 4 equals 8. And 7 and 8 are not the same, so 7 does not equal 4 plus 4. This is not correct. Oh, it's Jenny and Eric, and they're picking cherries. Jenny picks 10 cherries, and Eric picks 9 cherries. Now they want to have an equal number of cherries. So how many more cherries does Eric need to pick? We know that 9 cherries is less than 10 cherries, so we need to add some more to the right side. 10 equals 9 plus what number? Well, we can count up to 10 by starting from 9. So 9, 10. Now oh, there we go. Now there are 10 cherries on both sides, which means the two sides are equal and balanced.
Ten equals nine plus one. So Eric needs to pick one more cherry. Good job using the equal sign. Now we've got one more challenge for us, and let's bring back the scale for it. On the left side of the scale, there's a missing number. Twenty minus what number? Now on the right side of the scale, we have thirteen plus three, and we can see that the two sides are right next to each other, which means that they're equal. We just need to find the missing number. So let's write. Twenty minus what number equals thirteen plus three? Let's write twenty minus what number equals thirteen plus three. Now, first, look at the side that doesn't have missing numbers, and what is thirteen plus three? Start at thirteen and count three more: fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, thirteen plus three equals sixteen. Now we know the right side is sixteen, and twenty minus what number equals sixteen? Now this looks like a subtraction problem that we can figure out. We can count up to twenty by starting at sixteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We counted up four more numbers, which means that twenty minus four equals sixteen. And we found the missing number that keeps our scale balanced. Fantastic work! And now let's recap. You learned that we used an equal sign to show that two sides have the same amount. The left side of the equal sign must be the same as the right side of the equal sign, and if not, the equation is not correct. You did a great job balancing scales and using the equal sign. And I'll see you in the next lesson.